Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Today we want to talk about how we can note uh, a, a logic between, between signals. Yeah? Today we want to note it in form of an equation. Yeah? We're talking about the Boolean algebra. Uh, so the Boolean algebra, this is not a mathematical equation, it's a logic equation. Yeah? And to combine different logic signals, yeah, we have to note those logic signals. So we are dealing with uh, with logic signals. Mm -hmm. So we have logic signals. These are either zero or one, whatever this means in the real world. And the symbols are simply small letters. Yeah, typical are X and Y. Yeah, or whatever small letter there is. Yeah, does not. This is not really. This is not really fixed. Yeah, these are logic signals. Okay, and we want to note the the combination of two of them. Yeah, and there are symbols for displaying what kind of combination those two signals have with each other. Yeah, so there are symbols to show the type of combination so and the usual combinations are and or or <laughs> yeah so we have and combination and and is a, a very usual system is uh, symbol is this yeah. This. Yeah. For instance, X and Y. Yeah. However, I am preferring a different type of signal uh, symbol. Sorry, I'm preferring a dot. Yeah. I've used this in a previous video already. Yeah. So an and is for me. It looks like a multiplication. X and Y. Yeah. This is the one I'm preferring. And this is the one. Uh, we are going to use. Yeah? I know yeah, that the, the downside of this type is that it looks like a mathematical equation. Yeah? And this you can clearly see, okay, it's Boolean algebra, it's a logic equation, I don't have to care about mathematics. Yeah? This is not a multiplication. Yeah? However, we will see afterwards if on the rules, yeah, this thing has benefits yeah, that these mathematical rules also apply to, to Boolean algebra. I will show you afterwards. Then there's a OR. And, well, this symbol would be this, this, so X or Y. All right. However, again, I prefer a different type of symbol. And now it's getting a little bit, hmm, maybe not that nice because an air is a plus. Looks like an AND, <laughs> but it's an OR, X or Y. Yeah? And also, again, we do have uh, the possibility to mix this up with mathematical equation by using this symbol. But like I said, I will show you afterwards why I'm choosing, preferring this. Yeah? And then we have a NOT. Yeah? NOT. And this is simply if I want to have not exactly not that signal, I make here this bar, this line above the symbol. And the rule is for calculating, for, for yielding, yeah, not is more important than and. And this is more important than OR. And here we have already something. Yeah? So dots are more important than pluses in mathematics. Yeah? So this comes naturally. Okay? So an AND, an, a plus has to yield to, an, to, to a multiplication. And here an OR has to yield to an AND. Okay? This, is, this is exactly like in mathematics. Yeah? And now I 
give you some rules. Okay, so if there is a signal X, I will use the end rules. Maybe I write in in in, in green color X and zero. Yeah, is always zero. Yeah? X and false is always false. Yeah. However, on the other hand, or X or false or not is always X. Yeah? Again, looking like mathematical. X multiplied by zero is zero, and X plus zero is X. Yeah? Right. So to, this comes naturally. Yeah? This is why I prefer this type of symbols. Then you have not to learn who, what was a new symbol and so on. <laughs> yeah. X and one. Mark, yeah, is always x. Who also looking mathematical? However, it's also true in logic. Yeah, and here we have the first x or one is always one. Yeah, whatever x is, the output will always be one. Yeah, it will always be true on the other side. And here we have x and x. Yeah, this is not x squared. This is x. Yeah. The signal and the signal is always the same signal. This is also true for here. The signal or the signal is always the signal itself. All right. Then we have x and not x. Yeah. This is always zero because either of them must be zero because it's exactly the opposite. Yeah. However, here x or not x. Yeah. This is always one because either of them one of them is always one, so it's one already. Okay. These rules are extendable also. So if we have here, for instance, x1 and x2 and x3 and xn and 0, this is 0, right? This one zero will delete this. Yeah? It's like multiplication, right? On the other hand, we have here x1 or x2 or x3 or and so on or xn or nothing. And this is exactly this zero I can simply forget. x2 or x3 or and something or xn. This zero is gone. All right? Also, like the mathematical rule. Yeah? And of course, I can extend, I can multiply this with 1 as well, because then x1 and x2 and x3 and and so on, xn and 1 is exactly x1 and x2 and x3 and and so on and xn. Yeah? This is the opposite part. right? And here we have, yeah, x1 or x2 or x3 or and so on or xn or 1 is 1. Huh? This is always 1. There's no... If one of these signals is 1, this is 1. Yeah? And one, if 1 is for sure 1, the output is 1. All other signals do not matter. What is true in both cases is that x1 and x2 is absolutely the same like x2 and x1 yeah? and here also yeah? x1 or x2 is exactly the same as x2 or x1 you can the direct order the 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 order doesn't really matter the order doesn't matter is also true if i have three signals x1 and x2 and x3 is exactly the same as x1 and x2 first and then x and x3. Yeah? This is exactly the same. This is also true on this side. Yeah? This is also true on this side. Uh, x1 or x2 or x3 is exactly the same as x1 and x3 uh, or... <laughs> ah, <right. laughs> That's the downside, like I said, by using this type of symbols. That's it. Yeah. And maybe if we do what is also good if you use these mathematical symbols, if we have uh, brackets. Here I have used brackets. This means just this happening first, right? So if we have an x1 yeah, and we have an and and then we do a bracket 
and we have an x2, then we do an OR, and we have then an x3, and we're closing the bracket. Yeah? To resolve this bracket, yeah, we simply say, it's like in mathematics, x1 and x2, or x1 and x3. Bracket rule. Use it like in mathematics, like said, because so many things just come rules, yeah? just come naturally by applying the mathematic rules to a Boolean algebra. Yeah? I prefer this type of symbols and I will keep those type of symbols in my previous videos or my previous, in my next videos as well. Yeah? <laughs> I will keep simply this notation. Yeah? I know that real logic guys tend to work with the other symbols simply to, to you know, distinguish from other people. Hmm? Yeah. However, if you get an expert in logic, use the other type of symbol that you are getting used to. For us, which just are getting to know logic, yeah, this is, uh, well, yeah, better for us to use this type of symbols become. A lot of rules are, are coming simply by mathematic, by applying the mathematic rules. Boolean algebra. Next time we're talking about a rule, a rule of a so-called De Morgan. What this De Morgan has found out and what is true, I can show in an example. Yeah, we will hear next video. For this time, say thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.